The EcoCar 2 teams have now selected their architectures for competition. The architecture selection process involves designing for fuel economy, performance, consumer acceptability, all the things that an OEM has to design for. So we're preparing the next generation of automotive engineers in this process. Well, GM provides each team a 2013 Chevy Malibu, and these teams are going to turn it into their own version of the future. EcoCar 2's 15 participants all utilize plug-in hybrid electric technology. This gives each of the 15 teams the ability to recharge an onboard battery using a wall plug. These 15 teams can further then be broken down into five different sub-architectures. The first sub-architecture is a split parallel hybrid. This architecture utilizes two electric motors for two different types of functions. The first motor performs functions such as engine start-stop and battery charging. The second electric motor provides tractive power to the vehicle independent of the first electric motor, which powers the vehicle down the road. Our second sub-architecture is a series parallel hybrid. This has the ability to decouple and couple the engine to and from the wheels, as well as use the motors to charge the batteries or provide tractive energy to drive the vehicle down the road. Our third architecture is a parallel through the road hybrid. This hybrid has an engine on one axle and an electric machine on the other axle. Combining these two together in this format allows the vehicle to perform hybrid operations such as electric-only propulsion or blended hybrid operation. Our fourth sub-architecture is a series hybrid electric vehicle. In this architecture, the engine is never coupled to the wheels. Instead, it's coupled to an electric motor that can recharge the battery. A second motor, coupled to the wheels, draws energy from the battery and powers the vehicle to go down the road. In our fifth sub-architecture, we have a hydrogen fuel cell series hybrid electric vehicle. In this architecture, a fuel cell utilizes hydrogen to generate electricity. This electricity can be used to charge a battery or power an electric motor that can propel the vehicle. We need to be looking at sustainable transportation models. Through this competition, we're developing the engineers that are going to help us meet our transportation challenges in the future. GM provides mentors, training, and a lot of expertise that allows these young engineers to take their school training and turn it into reality and to take a big team and make them work on a long project and come to reality with something great.